Well, this is about learning what went wrong and why, what should have happened, and how to make sure it doesn't happen again. Gunfire triggering chaos and panic at the July 2nd mass shooting at the Brooklyn Day celebration at Brooklyn Homes. Two people died, 28 others suffered gunshot wounds. According to police charging documents for a 17-year-old arrested on gun violations and reckless endangerment, there were as many as five crime scenes. Police write at least three people discharged weapons. I'm not looking for um, information about the investigation uh, in this hearing. The Public Safety Committee, chaired by Mark Conway, will grill the acting commissioner and officials representing three agencies about what they knew in advance of the Brooklyn Day celebration and the lack of a police presence prior to the mass shooting. This is going to be really focused on the city's response. According to police transmissions, officers knew several hours before the mass shooting that a large group of people had gathered. Looks like I got maybe eight or nine hundred people out here. I just wanted to do a flyby over Brenton Court and uh, give us maybe an approximate head count. It had a large party, uh, roughly about eight or nine hundred people. Ten four, thanks. Hey, we got a call for discharge in that area. Anything look suspicious? No, yeah, negative. What happened? What did they do? What is the protocol, and um, what should be the protocol for this in the future? The Housing Authority of Baltimore manages Brooklyn homes. HABC officials will also be in the hot seat. We want to know what they know, what they knew, when they knew it, uh, and what they did to make sure that they could relay that information to our department. At one point that day, Safe Street workers broke up some fights. They left before the shooting. Monsi will also be grilled. We want to know what role Safe Street should have. Um, I don't believe that they should have necessarily called the police department. I don't believe that is their role. The committee chairman anticipates changes will be made in the permit process after questioning city transportation officials. What should we do going forward um, knowing that these happen? Um, how do we change our permitting on the front end? The committee chairman says with public comment, he expects this hearing to last at least two and a half hours. Reporting live from City Hall, David Collins, WBAL-TV 11 News.